Hey y'all, welcome back. Latest installment with Autodesk Software with a Hack. That rhymed, wow. Enhancing InfoWorks models with point clouds. So we just started with a model builder. We created a we created an InfoWorks model model builder. Now let's go ahead and let's bring in a point cloud data and marry this together, so to speak, with the model builder and the model builder file in InfoWorks and our more accurate point cloud data. All right. So let's go ahead and let's jump into InfoWorks recap and let's let's get a handle of what we're working with. So recap first, and this is a point cloud I created from flying a drone at this site. So flew the drone, took photos, and tied that in with ground control points, GCPs, with the photos to make the elevations and the you know northern easting elevations accurate. And so let's just get it, let's just get take a feel of this point cloud. So we can see this is our this is our ground control points right here. If I kind of zoom out a little bit, we're going to be able to see it with the aggregate of points. So this is point one right here. There's an X mark right there in the point cloud. And if we just go over, we can see this is our vehicles that are parked here. We, we have some good data in here. And what we were really after on this project was this pit. We were trying to do a volume analysis of this pit. And so what we did is we, you know, we flew this site with a couple different drones and just compared results. So anyways, but what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into InfoWorks and we're going to create a service from that and marry that with our model builder model, uh, service we're, we're working with. So bouncing out of this here, I'm gonna bounce out of InfoWorks and now I'm gonna go into, bounce out of recap and I'm going to InfoWorks. And this is our model builder file right here. So this is our pit. And let's just get a lay of the land here. We're, um, you can see the aerial imagery is pretty good, but we're gonna be somewhere down in this region right here. That's where our point cloud is. So going ahead and content right here, and this is what's called data sources. So a data source is any data that's in the file. So I'm gonna grab this and it's gonna open up my window on the right side here. And we can see this is all my data sources, so land use, ground imagery, roads. So we, like these roads are a data source. So there's native data sources from a model builder when things were created. All right, so let's go ahead and let's bring our point cloud. So right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do this little this little sheet of paper with a plus button on the bottom right. We're gonna go to point cloud down here. And I'm just gonna go right on my desktop and do, 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 desktop and actually in my downloads, I believe, right here. So you can bring in an RCS or an RCP. You mind that RCP is a recap project and RCS is where that data is pointed to for that recap project. I'm gonna grab the RCP, but either would be fine in this case. All right, so now it says it's adding our source. We can see over here, we now have a point cloud option, pit, point cloud. And then if I move this over here, it says status is configured and there's no date loaded. So this is a little bit of a confusing process. Step one, import it. Step two, step one, I guess import it. Step one, import it. Step two, configure that import so you see it in your file. So we go ahead and we just right click right here and we say configure, the first one down. And we can see the name matches the name of that point cloud pit. Our source data is point cloud. We can see our coordinate system right here. That's the data of that point cloud. The coordinate system was created. So keep in mind, this needs to match the InfoWorks model we created. And we're gonna choose our coordinate system. We're gonna leave it all as is. And then we're gonna say close and refresh right here. And now it's gonna spin on the back end. And now we have our point cloud that is geolocated in our file. Okay. Now we have our point cloud in there. Now we want to, and we want to create a service from that. We want to combine that with this model builder service here with our point cloud over here. And if we zoom in, we can see there's some, we just have the point cloud data in here. There's no surface that's tied to it. See, there's our point cloud right here and there's our model builder below it. All right, step two, three now, point clouds right here, point cloud. And we go ahead and we grab and we got point cloud terrain. So now we're generating terrain from our point cloud. So you can see here's our data sets, pit and ground. So for this, this can take a long time. It's gonna process things on the back end. So I'm gonna do as little detail right now as possible just for time's sakes. But you know, if you wanted to have the most detail possible, let it cook, go grab a coffee, go grab lunch or something. But keep in mind, it does take a minute. So linear features, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna bring everything down here. And all right, now we are going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and unselect this here because 
I want this to be on its own proposal. So here's proposals up here. We're going to be talking about that in a bit, but proposal is a copy of the model. So a new proposal will just take that model. It's basically like doing a save as. Uh, you know, have you ever done a save as civil 3D, save as v2, v3? That's exactly what it's doing. So I'm going to over, I'm going to uncheck this. So it's going to go onto my proposal processed point cloud. So we're going to have a master proposal and we have a processed point cloud. And export process file, don't export, lightweight. We're going to start processing. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We're creating that file. We're creating that surface data from that point cloud. And generally speaking, this goes a little faster than the proposed time. So if you see like 10 minutes, it's just like, I always find it's, it's like under promise over deliver with the, the amount of time it takes. All right, now that we're generating the point cloud terrain. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in that point cloud terrain in afterwards. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this here and we'll wait. All right, so we just generated that point cloud terrain. So it took a couple minutes. And so now we're just wrapping up here, point cloud terrain generation. So we got through 100%. We're just waiting here for Inworks to finalize it. And now we see over here on the right side, we have our point cloud imported. And we also, we have this terrain right here. And we have our terrain, our raster, and our vector overlay. All right. So now notice here, we have our point cloud data up here. We can see it. And we can see that that vector overlay from the point cloud data is now on our, now on our surface. And so well, one thing, notice our surface data still is that model builder. We still have the points above. And what we want to do is we want the point cloud data to take the surface data, so to speak, and um, from the model builder. So this is a little bit of a, can be a little bit of an easy step to forget. So we go to display here, display, and then surface layers right here. And if we go and we expand this a little bit, we have our terrain surface this is what we just created in InfoWorks. And that terrain surface now needs to be added to our ground surface. So what we need to do is we need to grab this here and bring it down to our ground surface and turn on the light bulb and apply and okay. And now our surface that we're seeing here is from our point cloud data. You can see we could zoom in here, we grab this, we can see now we are reading our point cloud data as our, as our service now. So really easy ways to bring in point clouds, create a service from it, enhance a model builder surface. So say you, say you wanted to really look at one specific portion or something like that, then you can, you can enhance that with, a, with that point cloud data. So great ways to work with point clouds and imports. Thanks for tuning in.